Well, the CEO of Kenya Airways says competition from Ethiopian Airlines is good for his own carrier. The airline is preparing to launch its first direct flight from Nairobi to New York. The chief executive told Richard he's trying to connect Africa to the world. It's in the same way a business project and a psychological project. It's like a real turnaround of the airline. It's like going on a new market, going on a market that everybody wanted to go since a long time. So we get lots of emotional support also, which is very important in the commercial part. In terms of the uh, of Kenya itself, in terms of Kenya, the, the airline itself, as you compete against the other, yes. I mean, South African Airways, who knows what's happening there? It is mm -hmm. a, it, uh, my word's not yours, it's a basket case. Mm -hmm. Ethiopia still continues to grow strongly, but obviously has hit some roadblocks as well. Mm -hmm. Where do you see yourself? What are you aiming to do? We are aiming to connect uh, and a continent and the east coast of Africa to the east coast of the US. And if you take it the other way around, we are living in a continent which is 1.2 billion people, and we will be only the fifth African airline to fly from the US to Africa, and only the seventh city out of all the continent. But are you aiming to connect them within Africa? Yes, so that's part of the big added value I believe we're going to bring to the market, is that beyond Nairobi, we, we think about at least sub-Saharan East Africa, 42 connections. Uh, from Mauritius to Tanzania to Rwanda to South Africa to Zimbabwe, Zambia, etc. These are all things that will be offered for passengers going to Nairobi. Competing directly with Ethiopia. But that's competing and cooperating. I mean, this is more about the connectivity of the continent. The more, the better Ethiopian is, the better I am. The better I am, the better they are. It's about bringing the level of water higher. You've had huge experience in European aviation, obviously from LOT and, mm -hmm. and elsewhere. You've now got real experience of African aviation, mm -hmm. lots of promise, which rarely gets delivered, open skies, which may or may never happen, declarations that never get met. Is it frustrating? It's, it's not always like this. Sometimes they are delivered, and we, I'm, 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 I'm the one who wants to deliver. Uh, so is it frustrating? It is. Yeah, of course it is, but, you know, this is a much earlier stage, so you have to also look at the whole chess play when you play your chess. Uh, many countries are just building airports now. Many countries want to invest in airlines. We are at a much earlier stage of development than Asia and, and Europe, and this is coming. So it's very nice to see this wave growing up. And of course, people would like to do it faster. They would like not to say that this is at early stage. Uh, but you know, we are living in a continent, and I'm working in a continent which has 100 million passengers a year. So you always have to keep in mind that this is less than one European carrier carries a year, uh, one low cost or whoever, whatever. So we are ahead of a growth, which I'm not forecasting to be a booming growth. I think that slowly, steadily, with the arrival of equity, investment, infrastructure capacity, this continent will grow, grow GDP per capita. And we are at the moment when we are contributing to this. So. Um, Yes, of course. Like, but you know, in Europe, my frustration. I also had many Europe's. When you have strikes all over, that's uh, that's very frustrating. So I'm 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 uh, I'm relaxed on that. We will do it. We will do it.